Hello Tubers and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will show you how to install Ansible. This will be something like 15 minutes process. If you follow my channel you know that I often use Vagrant for preparing on my test environment and virtual machines. If you don't know what is Vagrant and how to use it, I will put a video somewhere here which we will explain you how to use it and how to configure it and so on. So I'll start with the Vagrant file where I have uh, Ansible node, the node where we will install Ansible like software and the other three nodes which will be managed but by the first node uh, which is in this case Ansible node. So these nodes will be CentOS nodes with uh, one gig of RAM each and one CPU. This will be enough. Make sure that you reach the requirements. Okay, close this. Here I have an instruction file which I'll follow on the video. Um, don't forget to check the description and download all needed files. They will be there. So, uh, as I said, install Ansible on the first node, which I'll need it to happen. And second step will be to create and run an example playbook but without rows it will be just a playbook with all tasks and all tasks configured in it just uh, plug and play and the other playbook which we will create is a playbook that uh, using rows I will show you how to create a rows in Ansible. So, okay, let's begin with the process. First step is to create uh, one folder. I will make it on the desktop and uh, name it Ansible. And copy the Vagrant file. I will open it now and write cmd which will open one common prompt for me and now I'll just write vagrant up as I said you have to have uh, installed vagrant and virtualbox for reference the video on the right corner okay now vagrant up and enter and this will create the four nodes. And this will take uh, some time, so I'll fast forward the video to the end of this process and to continue of the Ansible installation. Okay, as you see now the creation of the our virtual machines are completed. So okay, I can close this and let's connect to the nodes. First node, uh, which is Ansible node, will be with address one nine six one nine. One six eight fifty six one 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 the username is Vagrant 
password is the same background okay let's connect to the other three nodes just to have them connected one nine two one six eight fifty six one one two Grant or Grant. Okay. So this is the first node of three which we will manage. Um, uh, right now let's uh, Close this and open the instructions file. Here, just uh, first uh, you have to be a root. Okay, and let's install Dancible. Okay, Ansible installation is complete. Let's check the version. As you see, Ansible 2.9.25. Okay, let's now check the Ansible folder. Yes, we have it. Now, the second step here is to uh, create the um, SH key, which we will use for uh, the SH tunnel to the other nodes. So, SH key again minus the RSA. Here, just, click, just uh, hit enter and enter again enter and that's it now copy the sh id to the other nodes here yes and password is the grant okay the same for the other two nodes And now let's put these three nodes, our three hosts, uh, as you want uh, to call them, in the hosts file. So copy this and put it here. Yes. This means that uh, Ansible will do the changes only in on these three nodes. Uh, okay, it's time for our first playbook. So what we have here, I explained it in the beginning, but uh, let's uh, try it again. This will install Nginx, PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL Server with the uh, present state and uh, start nginx if not started uh, this will happen because uh, i want to show you that uh, nginx is installed on the every of the three nodes so let's create this first uh, playbook uh, here 
uh, we don't use uh, rows it is uh, just a playbook with uh, all the tasks and uh, everything uh, configured here so copy this and paste yes and now let's play this playbook password here is background again or vagrant as you want to spell it but never mind. Okay, as you see, first task is completed, and after that, the second task to start the service. Let's check this first on the Linux on the nodes. So, system CTL status nginx. Yes, we have it running. Okay. Now let's check it on the browser. Okay, first note. Second and third. Call this and continue with the next playbook, which will be which will contains uh, a rows. Uh, it will be two rows. First row will install a Vim uh, editor and the second uh, row will create uh, test dir one two three four five uh, let's check that uh, here we don't have vim and of course we don't have uh, this test dir can see okay so now let's create this playbook this is the playbook with rows of course again we uh, execute the playbook on all of all of the hosts which in our case are these three nodes and okay we have the playbook now we have to create the rows first row for vim um, with the rows you have to create uh, a folder in the rows folder and name it with the name of the row as a subfolder you have to have tasks and after that this main yaml file which uh, will contain the row you want to run on these hosts okay so the playbook is ready now make the directory for the vim tasks and uh, after that the main file in it which will contain these few lines for vim installation using yum Okay, the second uh, row, the same thing. 
my directory and create the main file. Copy these lines, paste it, and exit. Okay, now I'll play the playbook. Password background. Okay. Let's check this. Vim. We have it. And oh, sorry, now it's there. The test there. So both of the rows are executed. Let's check it on the second out also. So we we have it. And the folder. If you have any questions uh, about this proce procedure or anything else, you can ask me in the comments. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with friends or with everybody you want. Have a nice one.